Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff, guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Yeah! <laughs> I got my swivel back, as you can see. Oh, yeah, and it no was hands. Like the most simplest solution. No right? hands. We always uh, turn something complicated. Overcomplicate, Overcomplicate sim uh, the simplest things. We went on the scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Looking for, sure. for the correct screw and screw. it was it, we just took and all the, we had to do was use the other side use the other side <laughs> and, and 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 leave it without touching it i would oh, try that's crazy i would try my best not to touch it because i know i like to touch the camera and all that stuff like that so yeah I would, bro i would try my best i would try my best not to touch it but um okay. yeah man um today was a today was a uh, crazy day came to work had to change a lot of things valentine's of course. Already. That's yep. Already. Uh, 2024 just 2024. took the fuck off, bro. Excuse me. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so we already got to We already got to do Valentine's. And I just realized something. Like, I'm doing the Valentine's Day, and I have one of my uh, associates. She was helping me uh, build it because I knew I was going to be, it was going to probably be an all-day pr uh, project for me. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I just realized I do all the fucking holiday candy. <laughs> You what? Why do you yeah. think that is? I don't know. Probably because, I mean, I guess because I might be good at it, but it's like. Would you just have like artistic And vision? I'm like, yes, this is the last one. And I'm like, fuck, we still have Easter. <laughs> you have a vision, Jeff. I have a vision. So does that mean you're an artist? Huh? Are you an artist with displays? You what? Yes, I am. Wait, so you remember that one question? Can well, anyone be an artist, Jeff? No, not anyone. Oh my God! Not Come anyone on, can. bro. So it took me uh, seventeen years of uh, I feel that of practice feel to that. to get it correct. So I am a master. Why can't art just be a concept? I, you I, know, I feel that though. I am a masterful like, craft of it now. I saw I saw something earlier today on YouTube. What did you see on YouTube? It was like I was just kind of scrolling through videos, and I just kind of clicked one, and I guess it was some guy doing like some ASMR motivational shit. Okay, and. uh I think he started off the video talking about how no was it no 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 it was that after school the 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 you know how they do the draw like you know how some channels will do like they'll do draw animation like videos essays yeah yeah yeah, okay, yeah 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 right yeah so it was a channel called after school and he said something in the beginning and i really thought about it like because like we all think about god and like yeah He's, they're this all-powerful, instant snap of the fingers type shit, right? Yeah. You know, can do anything, knows anything and everything. But what he said in the beginning was like, God created the world in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. But now think about it. Okay. It took six days to make everything everything okay he put in work of course no 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 god worked of course like a being that can just think things into reality worked because it takes a lot of energy to create everything right especially if it if it's supposed to all be in unison to each other right. they all need to complement each other if they don't right. then he has to start all so over. even in the essence of like what he is work goes into any craft exactly and that's why i said and that's where we go back with Jay Judah, where he's right. like not anybody can be right. an artist right you literally have to put in the work and with work, work it, it's time. Time to, uh, It takes time for you to be a master mm -hmm. at your craft. Mm -hmm. So it's like for you and your digital art, you didn't just come out of nowhere and say, let me do it. And then right. you, you, it took time. There's, cer there's certain pieces that you hate 
but a lot of people love. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh my God, this is good. This is that. But you're like, I hate this one. Why is the one that I always hate is the one that everybody always yeah, loves? <laughs> but it's like, it took you the longest right. because, and you hate the way it turned out or dislike the way it turned out, but then it ends up being the most prized one. So it, like you said, anything that becomes a master craft, it takes work. When you begin something, you suck at it. But mm -hmm. when you're when you've been in it for two to five or 10 to 15 years, you become a master craft. Like the guy, I was watching a video on YouTube. There was a guy, you know, cause you know, paintbrushes come in various, uh, expense of uh, like various expensive, um, types. Right. So this guy basically finds the finest, um, paintbrushes. He sells them for over, uh, a thousand dollars per brush because it's that good because he individually all oh, like stitches the bristles mm. so he takes like a small he takes like a small Jeez. pincher thing and Damn. pinches the bristles oh wait my question is though like if you're buying a paintbrush that expensive you better be painting some fucking no you better be good magnifico ass type shit yeah bro. yeah look at mine Lean it down and then push this up. Make it stand up. There you go. And then oh, okay. lean cool. it forward. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, and then and then they're asking. There's they're basically saying that they're basically saying like, how expensive were these brushes? These brushes right. were a thousand dollars each, and entire a thousand dollars each. And it depends in, on the set. You get a discount where you could be paying thirty five hundred dollars for the brushes. But he said they said he's been doing that craft for. 40 years for 40 years he's like there's no other job but that job of taking the individual bristles and stick imagine the it takes him a long time focus. but but people oh. but artists or painters buy his brushes because of that because right. they know the the quality but what are you using to paint that like i wouldn't want to just uh, any regular paint right. yeah you would you, you would feel want me to, i'd have to pair uh, it with the most pristine pristine paint, paint yes. on the most pristine canvas mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like oh that's tough no i feel it that's tough i feel it yeah so that's that, tough so uh, again now now because you see how many times you had to bring that up to actually start thinking about it mm -hmm. and now you're like all right I, I understood what Jade was saying, but now I really understand what he meant. Because there's there, there's beauty in the work. Exactly. There's, there's art. Exactly. In the work. When you put time, um, right. when you put time in it, you see the beauty that results right. from it. So right. it's not just something regular. But right. um, that's basically that's why you can't just be like, oh, macaroni art. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow, like you come amazing. to me with a macaroni sculpture. You what? You me? <laughs> like, you know? But, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel it, though. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. I, I understand. I understand a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of where that comes from. But, um, no, um, uh, to, uh, there was so, so basically, um, I just, like I was going, going back to it. I just realized <laughs> that I literally am the guy that does all the displays and it's not even like, oh, they don't want to do it. I just always end up in the position where I have to do it. I always open. So they're like, all right, build the candy. <laughs> build the candy. So it's like Easter is probably going to be the same thing. But oh, um, no, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's it, I'm good at it. So it's like I'm very organized when mm -hmm. it comes to it. So it's literally uh, heart chocolates on the bottom to bad candy on the top. So I don't have an issue with that. But um, no, no, no. So I was at work today. I was walking down the aisle. I, was, I finished because um, it was like an associate appreciation thing. But um, <laughs> yeah, we remember the last one. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the 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 fucking healthy one. That was nasty. Oh man, Ain't nobody we trying to be healthy the right last now. Last one. What it was even that? it was even like a New Year's resolution God, type type thing. It was like no. uh, we're gonna have a healthy yeah. thing. Everybody mostly ate the chicken, but <laughs> what no, they did y'all dirty. Yes, bro. yes they oh, did. No. But no, no, Where's no. The meat. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no. So, but I was walking down and um. And then um, one of the associates in the back and then another one in the front uh, came across each other. And then um, 
one of them was saying, oh, you guys have a podcast? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, who is that on there? I said, that's my brother. They, that's my cousin. They thought you were my that's cousin. That's my clone. Yeah, they thought you were my cousin. <laughs> He's um, the bunion that <laughs> popped off my big toe. <laughs> yeah, he just, he he just added him. He yep. just added him to that the That motherfucker grew eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, no. They asked, they, they're like, that's my cousin. And then they're like, um, and then they, the, for some reason, they got into like Zodiac signs. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened, and 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 um, they got into zodiac signs, and basically, I'm 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 just you know me, I observe, so I'm like, what's going on? Let me listen to this. Oh yeah, you know Sagittarius are like this, and Capricorns are like this, and da da da, and this or that, and I'm like, man, that gives me a great idea. Even though a lot of people think the horoscope and all that stuff is a joke, it would be very interesting to invite two two um females or women on here and no i think there's validity in, in it of course Absolutely. of course it, it goes deeper than that but right but um it, and that's why i was telling them they're like okay we would both like to come on and i'm like are you serious and they're like yes i'm like well i have to discuss this with my brother. i said are you guys really serious about this like not not a joke because i know sometimes you guys are like well i'm a this so that's why i'm like that and i'm a this. they're like no we would really like to co go come in are they gonna try to read me they're probably they're, do a reading i'm not gonna tell them anything unless reading. they like scan through all the videos and try to figure out when when your birthday was but um I'll be tough. You They're gonna be like, you seem, you seem like a, you seem like a Sagittarius. <laughs> That'll be tough <laughs> because you're looking at me different, or the vibes is there. So the vibes, so, uh, the vibing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, that, I think that'll be cool because I know our sister. Uh, yes, yes, is, she's like in the tarot cards tarot and all cards that stuff like that, and that I mean, that, and that kind of um, gives us a new perspective and. You, you you watch all these podcasts and all that stuff like that and you don't you don't hear um well probably women podcasts probably do that but you don't hear a male getting the perspective from a female on 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 the horoscope signs how it ties into um yeah, astrology i haven't seen it yet you gotta look for it what the fuck you tell me i gotta you just, youtube this you just think you're just gonna exist watch this uh watch whatever you're up. looking for is just gonna oh yeah you watch know? this pop up watch this pop up yeah no? yeah so um no, no no and then um of course i was having another conversation with another so you know me and mars have conversations mm -hmm. with other associates i don't know how i get my job talking. done. do your job yeah, jeff man. do your yeah. fucking job for some reason my job always gets done but then i always find Jeez. the time to have conversations with find people. more work you yeah, know, yeah 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 because yeah. re remember the relationships episode we did two years ago uh -huh. with uh shemeca and Jeez. joe Lissa. is it really yeah yeah can you believe in april it's gonna be two years that's crazy we were literally talking about oh one year anniversary in April twenty twenty fourth yeah, and now in like t three months it's gonna be two years so that's insane, um, but no 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 so no I was having a I was having a conversation with another associate and and she was basically kind of giving me the um the age gap relationship mm -hmm. type thing and and I said I would like to go in depth with that because I know that's a lot of issue that's um that's that's an issue with um some people not all but um some people have uh issues with the age gap thing because uh, i think some people's mindset is well when did you meet this person and it's like it doesn't work like that it's not like she was in high school and i was uh, well I, I i honestly feel like a power dynamic will always exist regardless of, of how large or small the age gap well yeah for sure for sure right. but um she said but i just think it's more weighted unless this person is genuinely like you are my equal mm -hmm. y your words are equally weighted as mine well i don't know how their right. relationship you dynamic works because right. um she's for she's uh she works in customer service but at the same time it's not like um but it also depends on your your views and relationship everybody, like it's such a right everybody has different views right but she said but but she was basically telling me like everyone thinks it's an issue because she is she is eight years apart from him mm -hmm. so they look at to it eight years, uh, yeah they look at it as oh when this when this guy turned right, 18 what what how old were you they God, i, they, I that's know fucking, it, it really that's devolves weird. into the most barbaric fucking I know, mindset i know it it's is like wait 
this person is 50 and this other person uh -huh. is 30. So that means when you were 20, <laughs> <laughs> when you were 20, he, he was 40. Bro, no, no, no. When you were 20, this person wasn't even born yet. You know what I'm saying? But that's so what I'm like, saying. And I think uh, that, and I think that's what, it, 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 I think that's, <laughs> I think that's what it is. So, well, one, I want to do. We, remember we talked about uh a part two of the mm -hmm. relationships thing and yeah. it doesn't necessarily have to be them um we can name that episode somewhere else but right. um but uh, i know that uh um i know that shemeca and uh, J uh jolissa wants to do a part two but we just have to have uh get all the cards right and together so we can get like an update on everything new and all that stuff like that so um no but i was i was just basically getting her take on it and how people saw it because again like you said um there's an a <laughs> there we go. Lee. <laughs> what's up bro? what's, what's up, up man bro? how's it going how's it going um, brother? no so but so basically yeah it's a, a, a lot of people have to seem to have that issue with the whole age gap thing mm -hmm. and then i've and and the biggest the biggest forefront of it because she was even she was telling me this so this is not sexual chocolate sexual chocolate how's yes, it going sir. Yeah. how we doing yes sir so she was welcome, welcome yeah so this is not coming from me this was literally coming out of her mouth and she's and she's 22 years old mm -hmm. so because uh, because the biggest the biggest factor is um what a lot of um older people I, i'm not gonna say gender but older people always say is the brain the the frontal cortex ain't mm -hmm. developed but research has shown that it's from age uh, it's from age 18 to 20 here's, here's, 27 here's the problem but they they just took the average and said 25 there's so much conflicting research that, of course that of would course support either side of that discussion uh -huh. and i just feel like the age is what 18 right uh-huh 18 I to 27 i feel like whatever the social laws that are in place yeah. apply to that you should allow them their own autonomy but that's the thing they always the the first thing that comes out their mouths is their babies well caution the luck blasphemous nugget how you doing <laughs> yes sir how you doing caught the live fire what it is yes, sir how we doing we out here um i i agree with that so no matter the no matter the age gap as long as they have their own autonomy, which 18 is classified as an adult, mm -hmm. you should be able to mm -hmm. date whoever you want at whatever age you want. But the biggest issue is the first thing that they'll throw at the man, especially, is, oh, why are you dating a child? Why are you dating a teenager? Why are you date? So they're making it seem like a PDF, a PDF right. if, if you understand what I'm right. saying. Instead of what did they say predator or, predator or groomer. Or, or that's, groomer. That's the there you go. One. That's the biggest one. The so. So they don't look at it. They don't look at it in the sense of, okay, she's she also made that decision to want to date me. It's mm -hmm. not me making just it's the not decision. A hostage, yeah, it's not say. exactly. But they you know but they I don't mean, but I they mean, don't I mean, put it that yeah, way. Yeah, I'm not you holding you financially hostage. Exactly, they don't put it that no, no, way. No. But the the biggest and I'll end it with this. But the biggest thing that she did say is when I she realized that uh, boys guys her age are don't have their shit together. But the guy she's dating that's eight years older than her has his shit together. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot. And then she said she said another thing, too, is um, he wants to have kids, but he he doesn't have a, a time limit. But for me right now, I don't want to have kids. But when I get to like 27, 28, I'll be ready to do that. <laughs> What's going, Ego Chocolate? Ego Chocolate. Ego chocolate. What's up, brother? How we doing, Ego Chocolate? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. So that's basically what she was saying. So it's like for her, she's like, I feel mature. She's like, I act like a kid sometimes, but I have that mature mindset where I can um, choose my own autonomy. And she basically said what you said. Mm -hmm. it, 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 as long as you're. Well, doesn't it go back to what I say? What? We're just big kids with more rules. Big kids with more rules. And that's more what I was saying. to keep us from hurting <laughs> people who does like, it does it work it just keep it just keeps it us from, it just keeps us from that's what laws are you know what i'm saying it's mm -hmm. like you know detention turns into jail and you know rules turn into laws no i agree I you agree. what i'm saying yeah and you just have to understand these are the laws these are what you're allowed to do and mm -hmm. not do but you know 
you're still open for judgment to society. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? That's something you can never change. So you just have to find people who agree with you and, and people who don't. And people who don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You always have detractors and at the end of the day, like like I said, there's statistics and data to support both sides of that discussion. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I think I think like you said, as long as you have your own autonomy and right. you make the decision yourself right. then if it, you truly feel no, that nobody else right. in that should matter if you truly feel that at any moment you could leave or you your decisions in the relationship are seen as you know valued and stuff like that mm-hmm. and you don't feel like this person has anything over you you know what i'm saying pursue the relationship yeah yeah you know for sure like for sure you, don't worry about what other people are thinking yeah, just because yeah, of the whatever age whatever dynamic you mm-hmm. want to uh, achieve in the relationship or set yeah, yeah or set that's up to you exactly there ha- there there has to be there doesn't have to be a traditional mindset you could be traditional in your mm-hmm. relationships yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying where you have a provider and a and a home maker or something a like homemaker that. yeah yeah you know um or you could just you could do the whole 50 50 you could mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying? In some rare cases where, you know, the roles are reversed. Yeah, yeah, for you know sure, for sure. You know, so like I feel like we're in an age where it's 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 redundant to even like have that discussion. If the person is of age, mm-hmm. they're allowed to vote. They're allowed to go to war. They're allowed to drink. They're allowed to do things of that nature. But again, like I said, that's the number one factor that they'll always throw in the man's face. They don't like I said, oh, grooming, like you said, grooming. Well, that's just morals. or PDF. Mor- mor- morals are always going to be debate. You set your own morals. You remember yeah, what I sure. said? Right. How do you set morals, right? You got to believe in something. Yeah, for sure. You got to believe you in You got to have a foundation. Yeah, you have to have a foundation of morals. Yeah. What do you believe is all good? What do you believe is all, all evil? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, you parse that, and then you decide, okay, this is how, what I will accept as evil, this is how far I'll go in terms of what I consider evil, this yeah. is how far I'll go in terms of what I consider good. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So, like, everyone's going to have a different understanding of, okay, what's a reasonable age gap or difference in terms of dating and stuff like that you know? what's going on fuzzy nuts how you doing fuzzy well, nuts welcome he's welcome been he's been summoned he's That's been summoned he's been summoned yes up. sir welcome 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 hashtag reaper army got the gang pulling up yes sir seems reaper army is here yes, sir. hey welcome guys thank you for showing up appreciate it is it was that the right button I think so. Did you push the right button? I was looking for the explosion. Sensational. There is no explosion. Hey, yo, what the fuck? No, no, no. I think... I don't know. I think that's a lot more. That's not an explosion. Which you doing? No, that is a cinematic, cinematic boom. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's how how the gravitas... Of the oh, Reaper Army going. pulling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, know f- you feel it. The Reaper yeah. Army's like the Empire. They all show up when it's time when it's for time battle. To ride We're going to fight the Empire. The Empire. <laughs> We're all together. <laughs> Glory of Valhalla. <laughs> Gl- Glory of Valhalla. Yes, we sir. all get summoned. Yes, sir. Let's all do it. <laughs> Smoke the Reaper Army. We love it. We love it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, no, yeah, yeah. But like you said, like it, it all depends on the... It all depends on the the dynamic and what what uh, your foundation mm-hmm. is, and that's how I view it too. Mm-hmm. Um, don't have an issue with the whole age gap thing, but uh, uh, again, a lot a lot of um, a lot of women do. So I think that's the biggest issue. But uh, yeah, that's that's just one of the conversations that she kind of brought up herself, and I. So then I asked if now that we do, go ahead. Now that um now that uh we do the Zoom calls online, like if you guys want to be part of an interview or anything like that, that'd be easier. Um, it said, "I told y'all my Reaper Army is loyal." Yeah, the army shall rise. So um yeah yeah so the uh, I told her like if because a lot of people cannot drive out here, we we live far. Mm-hmm. So I said, if you want to do a Zoom call, then we can go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
if you you and your boyfriend want to do that Zoom call, then we can go yeah. ahead and sit down and then like just that. just kind of give us your perspective on how it is dating somebody right. uh, in, in your situation and right. how society views it. Because again, too, you're the one that's witnessing and viewing all the ostracization of what you like. Just the change. Exactly, exactly. And it's like it works for you, so why wouldn't it work for anybody else? That's how I look at mm -hmm. it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, that's 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 kind of the the conversations that I had today. So very. Yo, Caleb, how we doing, guys? Yes, What's sir. Up? Fly people in. Yep, fly people. Fly people in. in first class, baby. First class. Um, first class. So yeah, yeah. So uh, kind of. So those are the conversations I kind of have. So so it's just, and also like I said, I'm very observant. So I'm just standing back, listening, and then saying, okay, these are the ideas that we can probably bring up in these episodes. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to go ahead um, and start brainstorming on that. And like I said, anybody that wants to have a conversation or just have a question. Sexual chocolate. We stand with the Grand Reaper. The Grand Reaper. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what's up. But, um, yeah, so that that's kind of the conversations we're having. And that, that's going to bring us to, uh, especially in 2024, to several topics that we can have a conversation about. So I feel that. Kind of. Um, wanted to bring that topic up but. I feel that. no that's solid yeah, yeah, that's yeah, solid yeah. that's gonna be interesting so now this is two separate things tarot card no horoscope and um smoke what is we doing <laughs> smoke said <laughs> fuzzy nut says smoke what is we doing <laughs> oh, boy. oh man but yeah i i so one is the horoscope and then the other one is one is the horoscope and the 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 age gap um, relationship. That's someone else, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, I know earlier before we even started, I wanted to kind of save this conversation because, like, and chat can chime in if they want. Right. Absolutely. We we want chat to to join in on this. It's been ten years. Has it since the Dark Knight Rises? Since the Dark Knight Rises. Okay. Because I know twelve years. Like yeah. the Dark Knight is hell. Is it the Dark Knight? Dark Knight Rises. No, 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 because you have the dark. The dark knight is no, Heath Ledger. No, 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 Batman Begins. Okay, because you have the dark knight, and that's hailed as, like, it's up there with one of the best, like, I guess, comic book films, uh -huh. um, performances, you know, da-da-da, uh, with Heath Ledger. But I feel like, I don't know, the dark knight rises never really got a, a chance. Like, it's such a really good movie. Like it didn't get the the critical acclaim that that the Dark Knight got because, like you said, Heath Ledger overshadowed. But like, could you say it was Heath Ledger's performance that like it was a outstanding performance, right? Would you say it's the performance that really sold the impact of the of the film, or was it the fact that you know um, it was kind of like poetic that someone gave so much of themselves to a role that well, that ultimately ended up taking their life have <laughs> been promoted to the grand reaper acknowledge me <laughs> <laughs> we are acknowledging the grand reaper, the grand reaper. he's in the chat <laughs> with his reaper army about to take over the empire soon to be the elder lich <laughs> <laughs> um I would say, um, I would say that, uh, Ooh, Caleb says that came out with Mama Mia, like Barbenheimer. Right. You remember that? Yes. It was like Mama yeah. Mia. It was that double feature. Yeah. It was that okay. double feature. Yeah. That was that. Yeah. Ooh. And Ooh, that's also a Christopher Nolan. That's also a Christopher Nolan against the 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 fucking yeah conglomerate type shit they love doing that every time he's about to drop a movie mm -hmm. <laughs> they drop another blockbuster oh hell yeah just to compete with him hell yeah for sure but yeah so like i'm looking at that and i'm just like and i'm going over you know like some of the best lines from the batman movies and i felt like the dark knight rises just had way better dialogue he did just way better dialogue. he did People feared him based off of what he said, not what he did. What he did. You see what I'm saying? Right. So e even in the beginning of the of the Dark Knight Rises, when they're in the when they're in that plane scene, um, where they were looking for Bane, and then they're like, 
nobody he's like nobody talked to me before i had the mask but now that i have it everybody wants to know who i am you see what i'm saying right, right. so it's like nobody knew who he was until he put the mask until on he put the mask so on. um and it's like these one-liners that he oh, keeps that delivering see he's like hey you're a pretty big Le- guy. ledger i would say it was People went to see the movie. People. <laughs> Caleb says, I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, he did. Man, he, he did. did have hockey he did pants, have on, hockey pants on. But um, I would say, I would say that um, in The Dark Knight, Leg- the only I think more people went to see that film not not with the expectation that Ledger would do very well mm-hmm. only because he died so they went out of, out of respect because of his death of but, his then, death. but then when they saw the film they're like oh shit this is an immaculate movie right. this man like literally gave himself gave his whole soul, soul to, to the character. world yeah. I feel that I feel that. <laughs> Sexual so chocolate is like, hey, yo. Say, hey, yo. <laughs> so, yeah, um, knowing that he gave his soul to the entire role. So, I would I would actually put The Dark Knight Rises above The Dark Knight. I know that's probably going to be very controversial um, it. because it. Heath Ledger gave an amazing performance. <sighs> but I would say that Bane had better dialogue and the plot of his plan played out longer than um the joker the joker spanned over a couple he months said, victory has weakened you yeah when he when he went to <laughs> hey, when he went to fight when he went to fight bane and oh, he's like man. victory has weakened victory you because he's never lost before yeah, right. so he felt like he never needed to improve right. he was too busy serving niggas kneecaps for breakfast <laughs> and shit he didn't take time to realize like, exactly oh, but that's what i'm saying uh he he has done so well um fighting criminals that he never had to worry about losing right. so when he came back he thought oh i can just go out there and fight bad guys and i can fuck them up and it's like Word. no bitch you suck it's been eight years you haven't been in the suit you haven't worked out or exercise so joker you're t- gang joker okay which joker are we talking about because yeah uh, yeah which joker which we joker are we yeah. talking about jared leto no joker? fuck jared leto joker don't fuck <laughs> Jared Leto hey, yo, Joker. We talk about nah, Heath Ledger. On, we talking about uh, don't, don't, don't. Joker gang, Joker gang. Don't bring up that trash ass Joker. What? Uh, fucking. Uh, what was his name? Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Stop there playing. Go. I think Emma, I, it, dude, he, he's clearly in a that cult. nigga was trash. He be drinking <laughs> the elixir Kool Aid yep. <laughs> of souls. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. No, I'm about to go into some fucking. Watch our watch our stream shut. Just down. shut the fuck down. <laughs> you said too much. What? Oh uh, man, he said he looks here and Jared and deep fakes just pop the, up on the, this motherfucker in the same sentence. <laughs> so like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> deep fakes pop up on that motherfucker. No, but uh, no, it, like, like I said, I I I think I think Bane's character was was more profound and more strong, and he actually presented a challenge to to um right because all joker did was just like set up traps and get beat the fuck up yeah and blow shit up and ship up shit and up, try yeah. to manipulate the entire uh um, the population the population to right. work for him where right. bane actually got his hands dirty yeah he was working for talia go at the end mm-hmm. heath ledger joker of course yeah heath ledger joker is oh heath gang yes sir. blasphemous nugget <laughs> yes sir how you doing yes sir yes sir heath gang yeah. all day bro yeah, but um, yeah, no, he was a uh, like yeah, Heath Ledger Joker was was very amazing. I, I love them the the way his performance, his improvs, especially like the part where you found out that the building, the hospital, the abandoned hospital that was supposed to blow up didn't work. He just kept going. He just kept pushing the button, and then the delay, and then the and reaction, that was all improv. And that was all improv. It was awesome. all part of. Was it was all part of. Um, that was amazing. Uh, it was all part of the improv, and that's what I love about a, a certain actors when they're doing movies. It's like when something goes wrong, they just improvise, and then it's like okay, it worked we're keeping it let's do it let's keep going and it's the same thing with taika watiti in uh thor um not uh was it love and thunder no uh ragnarok Ragnarok. thor ragnarok Ragnarok. where he's like most of it was improv like he let the actors um do whatever they want Mm. and it worked and that's why when he tried it with love and thunder it was trash because he he went overboard with it uh right because they started going that whole comedy route they wanted to make it like a 
I don't know. Don't make the Reaper Army turn on you. What did he say? Bane was ass? But you're the one that likes Spider-Man 3. We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> you brought this up, Vic. We're going to keep We're gonna, oh, We're gonna. gonna keep going at bro, this. How are you going to talk about Bane was Bane ass? Bane was ass, but Spider-Man 3 <laughs> was goaded. God, please kill Spider-Man. Please. <laughs> this man was praying to God. <laughs> no, the villain was praying to God. That's yeah, crazy. Man. That's crazy. He asked God to kill Spider-Man. Ragnarok was actually good. Love and Thunder was ass. I agree with that one, but you're the one that <laughs> you're the one that thinks <laughs> you're the one that thinks Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3. 3. Hey, man. Hey, I'm never going to let that go. That's dope. I'm never going to let that go. No, but I, I, I really liked Bane. I really liked Bane. Well, this is, and this is my opinion. I'm not, I'm not talking in general right. that uh, um, oh my no god. way are you serious blasphemous no way. Nugget? oh my god all right y'all gotta give me one good reason why this yes. movie was yes bad. please like y'all gotta give me one good yes reason. i want to know please. why spider-man 3 was better than two better than two which was the best one Two was perfect and then of course spider-man one was like come on that's the intro you feel me like even fuzzy nuts and greasy he's like ah i'm like nah come on. nah it, it the thing that killed me was the <laughs> Mm. yeah when he was all for me it was venom it was the yeah like for me it was venom venom he just he was just a, there was an uh, over there was an oversaturation of villains so you right. didn't know who to focus on right. so it's like they should have just stuck with sandman that they, was cool exactly as because sandman the, and then of course harry on the side yes because you gotta look at it this way it was literally it was literally Sandman that took Uncle Ben's life. So it's like, it's personal. Right, that's so personal. So if you focus on that... And, and then you took Harry's dad's life. Yeah, oh. Exactly, yes. Supposedly, allegedly. So if you focus on Flint Markle's um, past and why he did what he did, and even though it was an accident, Spider-Man's mm-hmm. not listening because he has mm-hmm. the black suit mm-hmm. and he's just trying to fight him and he's just right. trying to like, listen to me, blah, blah, blah. I get that. But the oversaturation of so many villains killed it because they were forcing... Um, Sam Raimi to finish the movie before it was actually done. Right. See, right. Spider Man Three was good because of Sandman. I yeah. feel like his story was good. Right. Exactly. You feel See me? that that I agree. If they, that was if, if first movie one one villain, second movie one villain. one villain. If you just kept it one villain, that's fine. Right. Um. Venom was fire. Oh yeah. Fuck. Fuck yeah. I Wait. Got, I got no. The words. Oh, you're talking about Venom. The from, standalone Venom or Spider-Man Three Venom? We talking Tom Hardy Venom or we talking uh, trash Venom? <laughs> yeah, because Spider-Man Three Venom will always be trash yeah. Venom to me. Like that will always that will always be the worst Venom. Yeah. In in so history. so like I said, it, it would have been a great story if they didn't add these extra villains. Right. You see what I'm saying? If they did a build up to like if they did a four where the four was like okay now um spider-man or um now uh, peter parker has to face his best friend harry because now he becomes the hobgoblin of a new goblin because right. he's like okay i found out you killed him but they're like nah let me try to kill you while sandman tries to kill me while venom tries to kill me and it's like <laughs> while venom's who- praying to god <laughs> to smite that my that. ass that what the that. fuck that's crazy man oh that kills me well go ahead go ahead. uh Vic says let me get this straight when I say what I say, I get back. That's because we're going. When I say they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Vic. Listen, Vic. Um, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You you've been you've been in the studio. You've seen the the shelf of movies. The thing is, I try to break down the movie. The roach. The roachism. <laughs> this is the roachism. The roachism. For me. So so my my thing is my thing is. Um, I try to break down movies and show you what could have been done better. In what, order. Yeah, we're not saying like... Yeah, we're not saying overall the movie is trash. trash. We're just saying the direction that they went, went right. wasn't the correct direction. Right. But again, like I said, they were rushing Sam Raimi, who's the director of the third of all three films, mm-hmm. but the third film, uh, so he can pump out four. But he decided to quit because it was too much for they were him. trying to do too much. Exactly, right? which it's is the same thing that they did with the second trilogy, Andrew Garfield. Or Andrew Garfield. Yeah. So when they came out with the they're Andrew Garfield, so Gar- obsessed with having him fight the Sinister Six. Uh-huh. Yeah. Treachery. 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 <laughs> the Reaper Army has be has betrayed you. You are now back to the, the regular. Army. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Treachery. Yeah. Yeah, be wild. Yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of why that's kind of why um I'm trying to get I'm trying to show a perspective of what they could have done better and 
um, why the movie could have been better if they had just focused on one villain because we were at the early stages where it where nobody was ready for all that because the film came out 2007 right so it's like we don't have the technology we don't have the the writers that we need to to do it now when you watch um when you watch um tom holland spider-man how they inco- in the third one how they incorporate all three of them right. and then that actually worked they they took multiple and sony of- studios wasn't even that big enough to even give them a budget like that exactly so, so that was a big budget that made over a billion dollars so the story worked because they found a good writer that can incorporate all three spider-man which also forced you to go back and watch the first two originals so you would With under- the whole timeline yes shit. so you would ah, understand crazy, so you would understand that's good writing that's good writing. So yeah uh so okay. you would understand the third one but again too uh i think ragnarok was good um love and thunder was trash um, Wait, why was... Oh, no, no, no. Love and Thunder was when he went on the whole Guardians of the Galaxy. Ch- no, no, no. Right. Hold on. Uh-oh, Smoke about to gather, gather the, the whole army. army. Watch <laughs> out. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, 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 call him back. Call him back, big. Call him, call him back. back, Smoke. Oh, man. Call him back, man. We don't want no smoke. His empire will prevail. <laughs> they will prevail. They're coming soon. They are coming soon. We he has stop on standby. Hashtag Reaper Army. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, just but but like I said, I would never discredit. I would never discredit um the Dark Knight, mm-hmm. um, based off of how, the Heath Ledger's performance. But again, I I believe not 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 that that this is what why they did it but i believe the only reason why a lot of people went to see it in the first place is because he died right. but again they did not expect the performance that they that, got that they got that right. they got so even though the dark knight rises came out three years later in 2012 it still overshadowed by heath ledger's by heath ledger's performance right. so it's like anything that bane did or anything that tom hardy did in the film nobody actually paid it to <laughs> Big Zed, I love this. <laughs> the power. He's like a power. <laughs> oh, man. So it didn't matter what Bane did. It didn't matter what Bane did. It always overshadowed. It always overshadowed Heath Ledger. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think, he, um, the, like I said, I think he, um, Tom Hardy's performance was amazing only because it will never overshadow Heath Ledger. Don't no. give me that one. No, no. But Tom Hardy's performance was amazing only because he was a challenge to the Batman. Right. It took him. He, he was a great written char- character. Character. Yes. I'm not saying he performed his no character no. better than than Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yes. It's just they wrote him as a good char- character. A good character. Because I went into this. All I know about Bane is. He's just this hulking convict who just juices. And they they always make him a bumbling idiot. Yeah, a bumbling idiot who just he's the sickum dog. He's a he's a Spanish wrestler right. that juices himself and right. wants to fight. You see what I'm saying? Just wants to fight and shit like that. And that's all I knew of him. So I'm like, how's this gonna be a challenge for Batman? Mm-hmm. Just like you know what I'm saying? Like you're Batman. But then they're like, Oh, let's change up the story. He's, now he's a fucking he was, genius. He was so insane in the League of Shadows right. they excommunicated that's him. That's crazy. To the point they where they should have sent John Wick after his ex- <laughs> right, <laughs> right, excommunicado. Yeah, it's communicado. I'm just bag. saying, yeah, but <laughs> it was, uh, it was that crazy. But that's what I'm saying. So it's like, and then his one liners, it's like uh, when he was fighting them, and he's like, You've adopted the dark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go, I need he's, you to do like, you need to do the voice. He's like, You merely adopted the darkness. I, I was, was born, born, in, born it. in it, molded by it. I was like, mm. dog, this shit's crazy, yeah. man. This shit's crazy. Victory has made you weak. Victory has made you weak. He says, shut up, roaches. I'm the Grand Reaper. They do, <laughs> thy, they do thy bidding. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, man. Vic trying to regain, regain control. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that, no, but that was a very interesting um, thought because it's like, it's it's been um, 12 years. It's, or, or 13 years actually mm-hmm. it's been 13 years since the film came out and it's like i rewatched it and i'm like oh my god this is really good like watching it from a 22 year old to now a 33 year old it's it's very different caleb says into the spider-verse was kind of up there as far as spider-man go- yeah absolutely i think that's as peak spider-man as you can. yeah you, that's it you can but, really but get- see this is where they're sony's now starting to fuck up they're like okay marvel they have to follow that yes marvel delivered us a, a fantastic spider-man right. that had to restart all over and from scratch nobody knew who, knows who he is but the issue now is they're trying to expand his entire universe because well, you know into the spider verse just the blueprint for the live action now no that's what i'm talking about right and, and, right. and uh, yeah so the the live action is going to be the, the 
they're already fucking up. So it, <laughs> why? Let okay. me just say that. Oh, oh wait, they're, they're, Morbian. Yep. Mor- it's Morbian. We- what's w- Madam Web? Madam. That Web. shit looks trash. No, that's crazy. And then wh- who's the other one? Craven. Did that one already Cra- drop? No, Craven hasn't dropped it. It's coming out March. They put they made a March movie, so basically it's gonna be trash. I think the only successful one out of all those <laughs> John Wick was Venom. Venom. Yes, that's why that's Venom Three is coming out. Yeah, that's um, it. Uh, like if they just kind of stick to that and just kind of build that up to like a yeah Spider Man versus venom mm-hmm. or i would love to see that but they're not in the same universe that's the thing that's the only issue they're not in the same universe what universe is he in garfield N- yes he's in he's garfield in he's in garfield's universe? universe yeah and they're also doing that whole revisiting but, thing, but right? when he got teleported into tom holland's universe a piece of the symbiote got left behind so that automatically is going to tell you it's going to go from hawaii to <laughs> to, to, new, to new york city i don't know how that's going to work or how that's gonna nugget happen. says we stand with the grand reaper <laughs> damn oh uh, shit man i hope we don't have to end up swearing fealty to <laughs> Loyalty is all. The Empire will not fall as long as the Grand Reaper stands. Sexual chocolate, Grand Reaper. The yes, second sir. Venom. The, Caleb says the second Venom was mid. It was mid. Carn- they could have done more with Carnage. Fuzzy nuts. We stand with smoke. <laughs> where, do, where, where do you think they fucked up with, with Carnage? Um, Cletus Cassidy is a sadistic, psychotic murderer. <laughs> and it's fucked up because they made him a ginger, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you what? I'm just saying I, I, that that's that's accurate. I'm not trying to be uh, racist or anything like that. That's just what they made him. But Whoa. no, um, Cletus Cassidy was known to be was known to be um, a sadistic murderer, mm-hmm. and um, this whole angle of because they put Banshee in the in the movie, so Banshee's a, a she's a screaming bitch. Right? Yes, okay. yeah, she's a female. She's or oh, I think she's a mutant. I think. Did they try to introduce mutants? No, in that? no, okay, they okay, didn't. Okay. They just, they just said she was born. They with did the whole Quicksilver shit. Powered, yeah, right. So, the I shit. So Banshee, um, they introduced Banshee into the into the film, and it's like, okay, and and Cletus Cassidy is a sadistic murderer. Even when I was playing um, um, uh, Amazing Sp- the Amazing Spider Man two on PlayStation five, he was like that too. Word. His hands and his feet were burned. He had no shoes, like completely burned. And he was sadistically killing people. So you had a side mission where you had to kill, where you had to stop um, the the fire people because they were trying to burn down New York City. Yes, but that's what who he is. Like he would kill and then carve his carve um, his um, initials his initials in your skin after he'd kill you because that's what he was. So because of that, that's the only reason when the symbiote fused with him, his blood it it turned red because it it realized how sadistic and 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 evil he was so that's why he it called itself carnage so essentially the the correct part that the part that they did get correct is where it did separate from venom and then it created into carnage, carnage it, right. it wasn't like a, a set because there's a planet it's a whole oh right 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 it's a whole, a whole thing. planet it's like a whole planet right. of symbiotes with with levels of bosses and but, shit like that and apparently you know what's weird though venom's they're, the weakest but they're all connected throughout every multiverse. every multiverse yes so it's like one omniversal a, a, symbi- a symbiote that transverses space yes. time that's crazy so every multiverse every oh, that's crazy yeah. so it's one thing yeah every symbiote is connected unimind it's like one mind it's like it's the omni mind it's an omni mind it's like right. the, it's like the stars from uh right. dc universe when they latch on to oh your... that's crazy yeah so um Cletus Cassidy, like I said, Cletus Cassidy is a sadistic killer, and the way that they fucked it up in uh, Venom 2, Carnage, Let There Be Carnage, was they made him uh, have feelings and fall in love and all that <laughs> shit like that. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, half the people that what read the, the, fuck the, half the, people that read the comic about. book and, and, and know who Cletus Cassidy is and how sadistic he is and how many times he's almost killed Spider-Man and how many times he's almost even killed Venom know what it is, because... Venom and him will team up sometimes in the comic books, and then he'll end up trying to kill Venom just to kill Spider Man. Just to kill Spider Man, I feel that. You see what I'm saying? So I feel that. that that that. So what they did? Because I think they're trying to do a PG version version of it. PG I said virgin. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! But no, they're trying to do like a PG version of it, and it didn't work. I think they should have just 
try to get right. Venom should have been rated R, right, but they like gave it a Deadpool because he was eating shit. heads in the first movie. So that that's what didn't make any sense to me because he needs to consi- consistently consume some type of flesh. human flesh right. and, or body part in order to stay alive, or he starts consuming the host and the host slowly starts to die. Then people are like, "How the fuck do you know all this?" <laughs> 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 Smoke says, this has been a very active chat. Yeah. Th- thank you, Reaper. Yeah, thank you, Reaper and the Reaper Army. I appreciate you guys for uh, stopping oh, by. Oh, yeah, and Caleb. Thank yeah. you, brother. Hey, thank you, Caleb. And I appreciate you guys for listening to us be nerds for about 45 minutes. <laughs> this man is a whole fucking archive. of Bro, all I got to do, I don't even got to watch a movie. I just be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just summarize the whole fucking yeah, so, thing for me. So it's like... um. So it's like clear sca- yeah, but uh, I don't like it. it. It it was not such a good movie. And now, um, at the end, they're introducing two new symbiotes because they're saying Banshee didn't die when the bell fell on her. Right, it- she's the whole screaming fucking. Yeah, but they're saying the they're saying hair. they're saying a piece of the carnage symbiote hit her before she the bell fell on her. And of course, the police officer that was in the that was in the the um also didn't die either so he has a symbiote power too so they're saying they're, those two are didn't gonna... he fight a white symbiote in the first movie uh no no no, no. he didn't fight a yeah yeah, yeah yeah he fought, no he didn't fight anti-venom he fought the he fought one of the superior symbiotes it took over one of the hosts okay in the first in the first movie but no it's it's doesn't it's... that get tiring though did you I just fight another version of myself. Well, I mean that's that's what it is because uh, it's Venom. Tough. Who who else who else is he gonna fight besides symbiotes? You see what I'm saying? I feel that. So. I don't know. Like they don't have any like cool side quest stories for Venom or some shit. Not unless you introduce Spider Man and the other Mar- Marvel. The cinematic universe. Yeah, universe. Right. And that's the only way that ah, that will actually happen and or work. It's tough. Sir, did you play the Dark Picture? anthology game yet no sir i have not played that yet i haven't i have not had time why the anthology game no no no, i know why but why oh oh yeah yeah because we're 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 starting new projects getting um more interviews in um we're Nine, go? A nine to five. Nine, to, well, not nine to five. It's like <laughs> twelve to twelve or. Three, oh yeah, three, yeah. Three, for yeah. you, it's fuck your life, bro. What the fuck? Exactly. Yeah, and absolutely. on top of that, yeah. I'm in management, so it's very difficult for me to actually try to get the this time. This man got to request the whole vacation, bro, a year in advance. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's the thing. That's oh the thing. man. Uh, Caleb says, "You think the Nintendo is going to make a little movie universe?" And do you think it'll be as big as MCU type? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I think so. Because um, Sonic 1 and 2 was successful. Mario was successful. People thought that was going to be a throwaway film. My question is, is okay, they're gonna uh, pull Sonic a is a joint property. They're going right? to put, yeah. Sonic is joint yeah. property because Nintendo owns a portion of that, which is why you have the All-Star <clears throat> and the Olympic yeah, you're right, and Sonic then and then uh, Universal Studios owns owns no, it's um, Universal it's, now is partnered with Nintendo. Nintendo, yes, but with Sega, I don't know who who owns Sega. Is that Viacom? No, Paramount. Paramount. Paramount owns, owns Sega. Sega. So if they wanted to partner up, they would have to do like a Sony uh, type MC Disney type thing. Right, but you could get as far as Super Smash Brothers in. But you would need Sonic in there, though. That's the thing. Eh, not really. No. Eh, you don't not think really. so? Sonic because is only one. Because, like, oof. I don't know. Cause, he's going to miss Coral. Oh, okay. He's talking to Yeah, him. like a, a, a mini a mini universe. Like a Nintendo cinematic universe. I feel it. I feel it. Well, because the way I look at it is, um, like I said, Mario was successful. Mm-hmm. So um, they're in the process of making a, a, a Link movie or a Zelda movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course... It, it's just uphill from I think, there. right, right. I really want a Kirby. Yes, yeah. I would love, because I like what they did with the Mario movie, where they kind of showed us a life outside of, or before their, you know. Uh, uh, before they got into the. Right, the, right. The, 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 the pipes. Pipe, the pipe world pipes. or whatever, yeah. you know. So, like, I, I would kind of like to see some more context to how Kirby uh-huh. is Kirby and what Kirby I don't care what Kirby's supposed to be because, you know, he's a baby. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I always thought growing up that he was just what King Dedede was. 
Yeah, that's their, what, that's their what abilities are so similar. similar. Yeah, right. You see what I'm saying? So I just kind of assumed, okay, that's what Kirby is supposed to be. They had a show for Kirby. They did have a yeah, show. Yeah, for yeah, Kirby. yeah, yeah. Back when uh, four four kids, four kids, four kids, four kids star. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that was a good show. But no, no, I think they're going to expand on the universe because uh, Chris Pratt did a good job playing Kirby. I'm playing the good job playing mario oh, so mario. they're going to oh the way i talk so much shit about that man <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. the way i talk shit about chris pratt and like uh, it was like and, and especially when he was like uh nobody says it's a me it's a me <laughs> no mario. i really thought he wasn't gonna but you know they did their job they had the little the actual original voice actor doing the wahoo or, that's all he said in the movie yee-hoo! that's all he said in the movie because <laughs> Because he never talked. He never talked. So That was fire. Yeah. But in terms of cinematic universe, I see it. No, I think they're going to do it, it because they, was, they were successful with, they, with they, two properties already. I feel like they a lot of these major companies allowed you know, Marvel to complete the blueprint, saw uh-huh. where they failed, and then now they're like, all right, we know how to do it. And it's going to be a lot, a lot easier with animated properties than, yeah. than a... a fucking live action movies. he said recast luigi he really hates that guy's voice recast who played luigi <laughs> that guy with the annoying voice from uh pacific rim i can't remember his name he's the one with that squealy voice really yeah i'll show you shit all right yeah you're gonna have to pull that up but i i don't know like i really thought they would have saved some of that luigi's haunted mansion shit for his own soul no nah, they they just put it right right they just kind of threw it in there they threw it in there yeah this guy. Oh, that yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, he is pretty annoying. He has an annoying voice. Isn't he in the all them commercials, the Hulu commercials? And shit yes, like oh, yeah, the Mountain Dew commercials. Charlie too. Day, yeah. yeah, the Mountain Dew commercials. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, you're right, Charlie Day. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like they didn't do Luigi justice until the end. Well, yeah, because he kept being scared of everything, so... That's that's probably why. I don't know. They still have to introduce Daisy. They got to introduce so many things. But I think uh, a lot of critics got ups- it was a good movie because I I look at the audience score, not the uh, not the critics, not the critics because the critics are they're not there to see a movie. They're there to dissect it and talk about why it's not woke enough. But because they didn't do anything woke in the film, right? There was just good characters. They got upset because they're like, there's no representation. Representation of fucking For what? what? Motherfucking Nintendo. It's a, Nintendo. It's a goddamn video game. Why are you trying to fucking change it? It doesn't make any sense. That's the dumbest <laughs> shit I've I'm ever heard. Dead. I'm dead. It wasn't a black Mario <laughs> Marquise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're going to be like, Mom, well, how, how we got an Italian dead. black <laughs> brother? No, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> this is a parallel universe where Negro Mario exists. <laughs> um, you wife. What the fuck? Yeah. No, but I, I, I could definitely see that. Happening. All right, that's for sure. That's what's up. That's pretty exciting. Uh, what else you got for us today, Joe? Me? Nah, I ain't got nothing. I'm just, I'm just excited about these uh, upcoming interviews. Like I'm, I'm getting with all these people, like, and again too, like we're, we're definitely gonna have uh, Vic back on, and if. One of his Reaper Army um, buddies ever want to have a chat with us, so we can definitely try doing video. something like a, a video Zoom or a call. Zoom call. Yeah. Reaper says, I got called mood today because I brought up the PSP in GameCube. Bro, you're old. You just got... you just put your age out there. The PSP in GameCube. That man said PSP in GameCube. Damn, bro. Yeah. That's that, what, Mario Party 6? Yep, Mario yep. Party 5? Yep. Fight night. Uh, what else? Fuck. What 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 was popping off on the PSP? Oh yeah, uh, Shin Budokai Budokai Tenkaiji. Budokai Tenkaiji. What the fuck? Yep. Pursuit Force. What else? Star Wars Battlefront, the original, the Old Republic. Yes, sir. You're old. Oh yeah, you're absolutely yep. old, Vic. Welcome to the club, bro. Welcome to the club. Bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope you're applying for social security. Now. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, what's it? What's it called? Uh, AARP. AARP. There you go. You're going to start getting them motherfuckers in the mail. Yep. <laughs> AARP. Ah, time for that. What was it? The, the colon exam? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get ready to get your butt poked. 
<laughs> oh, Vic, you old motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to get your butt poked, buddy. Better get that just for men gray, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, shit. Oh, no, I'm dead. Feel it. I'm, I'm feel dead. It. All right, all right, all right. I'm off that. Yeah, yeah, we'll get off that. But um, no, no, yeah. So no, I'm just like I said, I'm just really excited for these interviews. Um, again, to um, the interaction today was amazing. Um, like I said, if any of uh, the Reaper Army ever just wants Absolutely. to come on, we do Zoom calls too. And if we can have a conversation, ask us questions, anything you want, um, we'll try to answer them to the best of our abilities. Yes, sir. But um, yes, sir. Don't be like Vic and ask us weird questions because <laughs> that motherfucker ours goes left field when he says some <laughs> shit. Ah, bro, that's Reaper Army. They oh, hold on. Reaper says, they told me because I played Medal of Honor Heroes 2 on the PSP <laughs> <laughs> and the Force you Unleashed what? on the Wii and WWF Road to WrestleMania 2001. I'm old. Absolutely, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Bro, you said, you said Star Wars The Force Unleashed on the Wii. Do you understand what resolution that game was in? 480p, bro. Yeah. That was maximum That's resolution. You know you need them, them big booty TVs to play that game, bro. <laughs> you know that. The the color the color yep. uh, the color yep. prongs. Yeah. Not even HDMI. You played that game on a big booty TV. You old as fuck, bro. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You said two thousand one, nigga. What are we even talking about? <laughs> what? Were, you, were you even born? <laughs> two thousand one. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. I feel it though. Welcome to the club. Hey, that's that's where it's at though. Yeah. At least you own that physical media. Yep, that's true. At least you own that property, man. Now nah, it's just you own you only own rights to games now. Yeah, you just own you just own a license. The license. <laughs> Le- leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Vic. We got you, man. We got you, man. Sorry, yeah, we Vic. got you. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Welcome to the club. Yeah, we're, welcome to the club. This is a support group. Yeah, man. we got. Well, I don't have bad knees. It's but. a geriatric support group. <laughs> My back hurts. It's, does that count? I have male pattern baldness <laughs> and grays. <laughs> welcome to the club, buddy. Oh man! Every day you wake up, your knees sound like popcorn, <laughs> bro. What the fuck? You what? That's crazy. Uh, shit. No, we're, no, we're just, uh, we're just uh, getting off right now. That crazy. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, we'll let go. we we'll go. We off that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Good shit. Yeah, good shit. Um, you got any questions for us? Anybody, anybody in the, the chat anybody? got any questions for us? Yep. We're going to start a timer. We got like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Do, 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 do. I can't hit that note, so I'm not even gonna try. No, nope, no. <laughs> Damn, this one. Oh man, don't hate me on uh, because I'm hairless in the because front. my hairline in the front, bruh. It's Damn. okay, man. The struggle's real. Damn, he said your hairline the South Pole, Jeff. <laughs> He said, "Yo, shit in Texas." Nigga. I already he said, know that. Draw a course for Jeff's hairline. Like, That's crazy. <laughs> nigga said, "You need GPS to find your edge, bro." That's crazy. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's crazy. Uh, leave smoke alone. <laughs> oh man. man, he says the Bermuda Triangle on your scalp. <laughs> Can't find no land, bro. Ain't no edge. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit, straight ocean. <laughs> um, dead. All right, no questions. Yep. All right, Jeff. Yeah. I think it's that time. Yep, yeah, it's about that time. It's about that time. This is a, this is a yay for all you guys that uh, joined. Absolutely. Reaper Army, thank you Reaper for Army. today. We had a blast talking to you guys and uh, interacting with you. I appreciate you guys they for showing up. They came through strong. Yeah. Plays Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> That baby, piano. that baby piano. Oh, That's what's up. <laughs> what um, the fuck? Hey, that's why I'm wearing the one <laughs> one piece beanie right now. <laughs> I'm trying to save my hairline. <laughs> oh man, I can't even get the Texas. <laughs> no, I'm trip. Uh, no, no, I'm trip. We uh, sharpie that motherfucker. Oh uh, shit, that's what's up. Oh, that's dead. what's up, man. But uh, guys, thank you again for joining us at the table. <laughs> Oof. 
You want to try that again? Yeah, we're going to try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. Guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, and Pandora. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. And Reaper Army, thank you again for joining us on our live. We will. Yeah. Thank you again for joining us at the live. We will see you guys on the next episode of Triple T Topics. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Tuesday. See you, see you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. See you, see you.